This is a photograph of my grandmother, Dorothy Bubb, and her brother, Charlie Bubb, in front of the train station. We figure in about the 1920s. It's historic photos like this that prompted Shona Harrison, whose family has lived in Kelowna for generations, to start a Facebook page titled Old Kelowna. Everyone was like in Kelowna in terms of my family and my friends were um, very enamored with, with these images and started making all kinds of positive comments about them and where did you get them and oh my gosh, isn't that neat, let's get some more. And it just kind of really blossomed from, from there. The photos come everywhere from the British Library archives to the Kelowna Museum to newspapers to personally submitted pictures. This is not only looking at the history of the buildings, but of the people themselves. And so I think it would be really, really fascinating to, to have some of those, some of those pictures then, then shared on here so we can get a sense of what it was like to live in those times. The buildings can only speak so much for us. With over 1,000 photos of the city's past and more than 5,000 followers, maintaining the site can be a bit tedious. But to Harrison, it's important to keep the sense of community alive. I think that understanding our roots and knowing where we come from is so integral to understanding where we're going. Kelowna um, doesn't have a whole lot of public history in terms of accessibility to, the, to those documents. So yeah, so here's the one that we were talking about in terms of, I said, let's make demolition of heritage buildings an election issue. Besides reminiscing about the past, Harrison wishes to preserve it. And as a board member of the Heritage Society, she hopes to make Kelowna's history a serious discussion in the looming municipal election. There's been such outcry about, about the post office, about that particular building, and a lament for it and for some of the other buildings that have been taken down. I'm hoping that from this we can move past just merely talking about it and start putting some stuff into, into action and saving these buildings. If you have photos of the past of friends, family or historic buildings that you'd like to share with Old Kelowna, contact them on their Facebook page by following the link below. Jen Zielinski in Kelowna for Castanet News.